Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our third session for polynomials. Uh, in our previous session, uh, we have discussed about the basics of polynomials. Uh, we have done some problems based on factor and remainder theorem. Uh, in this uh, session, we will uh, further be discussing factor and remain, uh, remainder theorem and we'll be solving some more problems. Okay, so let's begin this session. Uh, let's have a quick recap of remainder theorem. Uh, it states that if a polynomial px and the, the degree of this polynomial should be greater than or equal to 1. Uh, by linear polynomial qx, then the degree of the remainder must be 0. That means it has to be a constant which can be 0. Okay. Or in other words, we can say, uh, suppose I have a polynomial px. Uh, degree of this polynomial is either 1 or more than 1, okay? And suppose A is any real number. Okay, then if Px is divided by x minus A, then the remainder is p a okay if a polynomial p x is divided by x minus a then the remainder is p a okay uh, let's do uh, one example of it suppose polynomial p x is x square minus 4 okay now if px is divided by x minus a suppose i take x minus 2 suppose i divide it by x minus 2 so let's divide x square minus 4 by x minus 2 i do it over here okay so it's x x square minus 2x and it is 2x minus 4 so uh, if i divide x square minus 4 by x minus 2 i am getting 0 as a remainder okay and according to the remainder theorem the remainder must be p2 uh, okay so i calculate p2 that is 2 square minus 4 that is 0 okay so we have proved this through an example okay so we have to be clear that if px any polynomial is divided by x minus a then the remainder is pa okay also let's have a quick recap of factor theorem Factor theorem determines whether a polynomial qx is a factor of a polynomial px or not without performing the actual division. Okay, let px be a polynomial, maybe it is linear, quadratic, cubic or any other degree. Okay, and uh, pa is equal to 0, then x is equal to a or x minus a is a factor of px. Conversely, we can say uh, if x minus a is factor of px, then pa will be zero okay i take one example suppose any, any polynomial px is x square minus 2x plus 1 okay and uh, i find p1 that is 1 square minus 2 plus 1 which is 0 so what p1 is it is 0 that means x minus 1 is factor of this polynomial okay that means x minus 1 is factor of x square minus 2x plus 1 okay uh, we'll be doing more problems in the same session now let's discuss some problems based on remainder theorem uh, 
in each of the following using the remainder theorem find the remainder when fx is divided by gx and verify the result by actual division uh, friends uh, while solving these questions will be learning two things that is the usage of remainder theorem and the division of polynomials okay a uh, division of polynomials you might have learned in your previous class but then also for a recap i'll be performing the actual division and will be verifying the results uh, using remainder theorem okay so first of all uh, we have uh, fx as x cube plus 4x square minus 3x plus 10 and gx as x plus 4 so first of all let's perform the actual division when fx is divided by gx so it's x plus 4 it is x cube plus 4x square minus 3x plus 10. now let's perform the actual division it is x over here and i wish to get x cube so i should multiply it by x square now if i uh, write x square over here then this x square should be multiplied with this x to get x cube then x square should also be multiplied by this 4 so i'll be getting 4x square okay now deduct this x cube plus 4x square from this i'll be getting here it is positive sign so for the, uh, uh, subtraction i'll be putting a negative sign similarly over here so x cube plus 4x square will get cancelled from minus of x cube plus 4x square now take 3x plus 10 minus 3x plus 10 now how do i get uh, minus 3x if i multiply this x by minus 3 so it is minus 3x and if i multiply this minus 3 uh, to this 4 i'll be getting 12 i'm sorry it will be minus 12 so further just uh, change the sign both the places here it is 22 that means if i divide x cube plus 4x square minus 3x plus 10 by x plus 4 i am getting the remainder as 22 now let's verify it by uh, remainder theorem that means if I divide this expression by x plus 4, I am getting the remainder as 22. That means if I put x is equal to minus 4, I should get the remainder as 22. Okay, so it's minus 4 cube plus 4 into minus 4 square minus 3 into minus 4 plus n. So it's minus 64. Uh, minus 4 square is 16 and it is plus 64 and it is minus 3 into minus 4 plus 12 and plus 10 so further i am getting 22 okay so that means uh, remainder theorem is true okay we can verify the results here it is 22 by actual division and by remainder still we get the remainder as 22 okay let's do one more example now let's see this question uh, here fx is 4x4 minus 3x cube minus 2x square plus x minus 7 and gx is x minus 1 now uh, let's perform the actual division It's 4x4 minus 3x cube minus 2x square plus x minus 7. Okay. First of all, we want 4x4. Here x is uh, there. So we need to take 4x cube as the first term of quotient. Okay. So 4x cube into x is 4x4 then 4x cube into minus 1 is minus of 4x cube now subtract this and change the sign so it will get cancelled and this is plus 4x cube and minus 3x cube so we'll be having 
positive x cube. Now let's take minus 2x square over here. Now we want x cube. So x should be multiplied by x square. So we will get x cube. Now x square into x is x cube. And x square into minus 1 is minus of x square. Further, let's deduct. So it's minus 2x square plus x square will be getting minus of x square. Then plus x. Further, we want minus x square. We are having x over here. So just multiply it to minus x. So it's minus x square. Then minus x into minus 1 will be getting plus x. So, and we are left with minus 7. Okay, so if we divide 4x4 minus 3x cube minus 2x square plus x minus 7 by x minus 1, we get minus 7 as remainder. Okay, now this is the first step. Now we find the remainder through remainder theorem. Okay, so what we'll be doing? We'll be putting uh, x is equal to 1. That means we'll be calculating f1. So what f1 is? 4 into 1 raised to 4 minus 3 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 1 minus 7. So it's 4 minus 3 minus 2 plus 1 minus 7 okay so it's 4 minus 3 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 finally we are getting minus 7 so by this method also we are getting the remainder as minus 7 and from actual division we are getting the remainder as minus 7 okay so we have verified okay let's take the next problem Now in this question, fx is 2x4 minus 6x cubed plus 2x square minus x plus 2 and gx is x plus 2. Now let's find out the remainder with actual division. So I put x plus 2 over here and I write 2x4 minus 6x cubed plus 2x square minus x plus 2. Now I wish to get 2x4. I am having x. So I need to multiply it by 2x cube. So 2x cube into x is 2x4. Then 2x cube plus 2 is 4x cube. Okay. Now I deduct it by changing the sign. So it will be cancelled. Then minus 6x cube minus 4x cube. I will be having minus of 10x cube. Then I take this 2x square over here. Now I wish to have minus 10 x cube and I am having x. So I need to multiply it by minus 10 x square. So minus 10 x square into x, it's minus 10 x cube. Then minus 10 x square into plus 2 will be minus 20 x square. Further, let's deduct by changing the sign. So it's cancelled. It's plus 2 plus 20 that is 22 x square minus x I take this x over here now I wish to get 22 x square so I'll be multiplying it by 22 x now 22 x into x is 22 x square and 22 x plus 2 is 44 x okay so it's plus minus plus minus so minus 44 minus x uh, minus 44 x minus x will be getting minus 45 x plus 2 now let's multiply it by minus 45 so it's minus 45 into x minus 45 x and minus 45 plus 2 is minus 90 okay so what will be getting 92 that means if I divide 2x4 minus 6x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 2 by x plus 2 
I am getting 92 as remainder. Now I try to find out the remainder, th uh, remainder theorem. So in that case what I have to do, I have to put the value of x as minus 2. Now from uh, where I am getting this minus 2, this gx is x plus 2. Okay, put x plus 2 as 0, that means x is equal to minus 2. So if I put x is equal to minus 2 in this expression, whatever is the remainder I will be getting should be 92. Okay, so let's calculate f of minus 2. It's 2 into minus 2 raised to 4 minus 6 into minus 2 whole cube plus 2 x square will be minus 2 square minus of minus 2 plus 2 okay so let's solve it it's 2 uh, minus 2 raised to 4 will be 16 16 into 2 32 minus 2 cube will be minus 8 minus 8 into minus 6 is plus 48 then it's minus 2 square will be 4 4 into 2 8 then it is plus 2 and it is plus 2 so further I'll be getting 92 as a remainder okay so if I put x is equal to minus 2 in this expression I'm getting 92 and if I divide this expression by x plus 2, still I am getting 92, okay? So we can establish remainder theorem by this, okay? Uh, let's uh, do one more problem. Now in this question, uh, we have to establish remainder theorem. So first of all, we divide this expression by this expression and we are performing actual division over here. So it's 4x cubed minus 12x square plus 14x minus 3 okay I wish to have 4x cube and I am having 2x so I would multiply it by 2x square so 2x square into 2x is 4x cube now this 2x square minus 1 is minus of 2x square change the sign and deduct so it's minus 12x square plus 2x square I'll be getting minus of 10x square then plus 14x I'm taking this 14x over here now I wish to get minus 10x square and I'm having 2x so I would multiply it by minus of 5x so minus 5x into 2x I'll be getting minus of 10x square then minus 5x into minus 1 I'll be getting 5x okay deduct it by changing the sign it will get cancelled and 14x minus 5x will be 9x then further it is minus 3 now I cannot get uh, 9 by multiplying any number by 2 so what I have to take so I have to take a fraction so if I multiply 2x by 9 by 2 I will be getting 9x so 9 by 2 into 2x is 9x and 9 by 2 into minus 1 is minus of 9 by 2. So let's deduct it. So 9 by 2 minus 3 is 3 by 2. So if I divide this expression by 2x minus 1, I'll be getting the remainder as 3 by 2. Now this is the first step. Now uh, if I put the value of x as half uh, what I'll be getting let's solve and from where I'm getting this half just put this gx as 0 so x is equal to half okay now I have to put the value of x in this expression and whatever the final answer I'll be getting that should be 3 by 2 okay so let's calculate f 1 by 2 it's 4 into 1 upon 2 cube minus 12 into 1 upon 2 square plus 14 into 1 by 2 minus 3 okay so if we solve it it's 4 by 8 that means it is 1 by 2 
uh, it's 1 by 4 so 12 by 4 is 3 similarly it is 14 by 2 which is 7 and it is minus 3 that means uh, 7 and a half minus 6 will be getting 1 and a half that is 3 by 2 so if I put x is equal to half in this expression I'll be getting 3 by 2 and if I divide this expression by 2x minus 1 still I'm getting 3 by 2 so further we can establish the remainder theorem that if a polynomial px is divided by x minus a the remainder is pa so in this case the polynomial uh, fx is divided by uh, gx that is 2x minus 1 the I'm sorry the remainder is f1 by 2 not g1 by 2 but it is f1 by 2 okay now let's do this problem here fx is x cube minus 6x square plus 2x minus 4 now we have to divide it by gx that is 1 minus 2x or in standard form I can write it as minus 2x plus 1 okay now in the very first step I wish to have x cube but I am having minus 2 over here so I multiply it by minus I am sorry 1 upon 2x square now minus 1 upon 2x square into minus 2x I will be getting x cube Now I multiply minus 1 by 2x square to this one. What I'll be getting is minus of half x square. Okay. Now let's deduct it by changing the sign. So it is cancelled. Now minus 6 uh, plus half is it's minus 11 by 2 x square now let's take this 2x over here now I wish to have minus 11 by 2 x square and I'm having minus 2 x over here so I should multiply it by 11 by 4 x okay now 11 by 4 x into minus 2 x what I'll be getting is minus 11 by 2 x square. Now 11 by 4 x plus uh, into 1 is 11 by 4 x. Okay, so it's change the sign and solve it. Now 2 minus 11 by 4 uh, of x. So it's minus 3 by 4 x okay let's take this over here it's minus 4 now I wish to get minus 3 by 4 x so what I will do is it's plus 3 by 8 okay so 3 by 8 into minus 2 x is minus 3 by 4 x and 3 by 8 into 1 is 3 by 8 8 okay so finally I'm getting the remainder as minus 4 minus 3 by 8 okay so it's uh, 8 fours are 32 and 3 35 by 8 okay so in the first step of the division I'm getting the remainder as minus 3 35 by 8 now I have to get the value of uh, value of uh, this calculation by remainder theorem okay so first of all let's put gx as 0 that is 1 minus 2x as 0 that means 2x is equal to 1 that means x is equal to 1 by 2 now I have to get the value of f 1 by 2 if it is minus 35 by 8 then further we can establish remainder theorem okay so let's uh, put the value of x as 1 by 2 in this expression so f 1 by 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 whole cube minus 6 into 1 upon 2 square plus 2 into 1 upon 2 minus 4 
so it's 1 by 8 minus it's 1 by 4 uh, so it's minus 6 by 4 plus it's 2 by 2 that is 1 minus 4 okay now let's take LCM now it's 8 it's 1 over here minus 2 fours are and 4 into 3 12 and this calculation is actually minus 3 by 1 so it's 1 into 8 8 8 into minus 3 is minus 24 okay so it's 1 minus 36 or we can say minus 35 by 8 so if I put the value of x as half I'll be getting minus 35 by 8 and if I divide this expression fx by gx I get the remainder as minus 35 by 8 that means further we can establish the remainder theorem that is if a polynomial here we can say fx is divided by 1 minus 2x the remainder will be f of half okay we have calculated f of a half over here which is same to uh, minus 35 by 8 which we obtained by actual division of fx by gx okay so students i hope uh, you must be clear about the remainder theorem and how we are establishing it uh, in our next session we'll be taking more such applications of remainder and factor theorem till then do revise this session bye bye